today I'm going to show you and do flip throughs of Deborah Muller's brand new artist editions spiral bound special paper coloring books just released on her Etsy site for girls of summer and gothic charm school I also have her spiral bound artist edition royalty and gothic tea party I can show you quickly um, but these are the two brand new ones girls of summer is also available on Amazon on the Amazon paper or on Etsy digital download this is a brand new book that she also is releasing on the spiral bound and then these ones are older books that were previously only on Amazon paper or digital that she's now re-releasing on spiral bound special paper which I love because um you can use so many more mediums and alcohol markers and things that don't suck up the ink and it's just a joy to work on these better papers and so I haven't actually even looked Gothic Charm School is actually my favorite book um I have Etsy and the paperback one I've never colored in the paperback Amazon version I've done three or four on the digital version so I'm going to redo those four totally different themes and color themes with those pictures and do this whole book Gothic Charm School on the good paper because it's my favorite book my other favorite one is Gothic Valentine because it has so many details a lot of fun th things fashion accessories and the the pages are really rich and there's a lot more things on them which I really like so let's do the girls of summer and I've been actually working in summertime fun which is her older summer one which is available on Amazon and it's um I, I've had it for years and I whenever it came out I don't even know I haven't colored in it but I did two pages in there this month and I'm really I love those pictures there's a lot of fun things in there as well and I just I'm doing more pencil now because it works better on the Amazon paper but this paper is kind of like it's thicker obviously and it has a little bit of like a shine not like a visible shine but like a like a silky feeling it's just great paper and I love all the books on this paper that's really cute I love it and I love seeing the more of the chubby girls in bathing suits, the non-traditional girls. I love the tropical theme. This book has a lot of detail too, which I really like. So you get more than just kind of like the, the close-up faces and hair and stuff. Um, you get like a whole scene with lots of different fun things to color. And I love it. Love, love, love. I did not buy the Mermaid, Mermaid's Rock one because I, I'm not as much a fan of mermaids. Um, I don't know why. I love fantasy, fairy tale, girly stuff, vintage, like fashion, fall, Christmas themed, Halloween themed. I just do not like mermaids. I don't know why. I think it's because I don't like to do water. Like, I love this picture, but I have no idea how I'm going to do the water. I'll have to use... Like my Derwent ink tints or something. It's not that easy to do water, to be honest. Oh, I love this one too. Love the palm leaves and the bathing suit. Love seeing older ladies or young ladies in these books. This book is so fun. I haven't actually. I know there's a digital flip um on her facebook page but i haven't actually it's just not the same as when you see them in person i think i did look at it actually but i already had bought the book before i looked at it <laughs> oh i love this that's so cute i love the umbrella it keeps slipping it's hard to flip these ones upward i saw one person do this picture on her group it looks really good the water is kind of green toned love the surfboard one makes me think of maui i love this one gosh i love them all i think i commented somewhere i'd love to see a um her version of her girls fashion through the ages 
uh, Hannah Lynn has has that and I don't love Hannah Lynn books as much because the faces are giant like out of proportion and she I don't like the paper I don't know there's no variety in any of her characters ages or anything but oh, I love that dress but I do like the she has that she has that one and I'd love to see Deborah's girls in a fashion through the ages like you know pioneer and victorian or southern bell like civil war gone with the wind <laughs> you know like uh punk 80s and retro 60s and kind of i love lucy 1950s and the 1940s kind of world war ii fashions 1920 flapper i'd love to see that with some we can see most of the whole girl with her fashion love this one I love vintage stuff, TV shows and movies and time period, everything. I love it too when you have two girls in one picture. I love this book. I'm probably going to do the whole book. So that's Girls of Summer and I love the kind of unicorn gold glitter on the back. Amazing book. I, I like it equally to the other summer book, but I love this paper, of course, better. This is Gothic Charm School, my favorite book of all time. And let's see which ones I've actually done on printables I have in my binder. Do we... Might have done that one. Love. Definitely did that one on a printable. That's good. I'm glad to see there's tons in here I haven't done since I'm going to be redoing this whole book. Alexa, stop. Why is it, every time I'm making a video, my Alexa reminds me of something. I have no idea. Definitely did this one for our, one for coloring contest with the jewel tones. Blue, purple, and gold. And I posted that on our page just a few days ago. It was for an old contest, but it has like gold paint crosses and stuff. Oh, I've not done that. I've not done that. those books so much and I just love like the little accessories and the the time period clothes definitely have done that and in fact I believe I don't know I don't have it I thought it was on the front cover of my coloring binder I did that in full colors This one, the royalty one, are ones I'm going to do the whole book of because I love them so much. Definitely did that in beautiful purple colors. It's in my coloring binder. Oh, sorry. Did I make it one? You just couldn't see that one. Did that one. That one. Love it. Definitely did that one in browns and mauve and maroon color. I think I did a tutorial on that one. Oh. I've never done it. This one, I did a full tutorial how to choose a color palette. Showing the color palette, how I did it. I think I colored the whole thing on camera. I've got to link all those below where you can see I colored these few I'm mentioning if I have videos of them. All right. That's those two, the brand new ones. I haven't flipped through Gothic Tea Party yet. I do have the Amazon paper version of this book. Have not colored in it. This one has a ton of detail, which is great. Even better. Love this. I love the style of her. Some of her older books that have a lot of little things and details to make a whole scene. Amazing. Oh my gosh. I might have to color this whole book too. <laughs> and of course, I'm a big Lewis Carroll fan. I love Alice, everything. I love the quotes in this one, which is why the book is bigger. Oh, 
And this book is so fun. I'm so glad. This was, I think this was the first one she put into the artist paper. Or maybe that was royalty. It might have been royalty. This is the first old one. I colored that one on a printable. It's terrible, so I'm going to redo it. <laughs> Did that years ago. Love this one. Love that one. And I love the quirky clothes on these because they're so like you can use multiple colors and make them look kind of crazy and I love how all of her hairstyles are always different in Hannah Lynn's books I mean you know it's good art but every single face is the same most of the hair is always the same most of the time but Deborah has a lot of uniqueness which makes her a great artist Did that one all in neons. Looks terrible. Uh, my early days. Love this one. Oh my gosh, ah, I can't get this open. It's heavy. Speed this up because I got a leaf here in a minute. Not this one. Honestly, if you can afford these, I did this one. Easter. If you can afford these, it's totally worth it. Save up until you can buy like, well, I don't know how long the copies will last, but until you can buy like one of each. Buy all four together. Oh, I love this one with the long hair. All right, that's Coffee Tea Party. And lastly, I have Royalty, which was the first one I think she released. You might have seen this one. You do a quick flip. I think I showed this already on my channel somewhere. This is fun because it has like the hair and the jewels, which I love this also, because you do see a little more of their body than just their face. Hair is more fun when you can color it with fashion. Yeah, so I hope you guys are enjoying these flip-throughs. Contact Deborah on her Facebook or check her Etsy page. Pick these up. I think you'll love them. And thanks for watching, everybody. I'll see you in the next video.